What's up, people? It's Will here with uh, A-List Audio. Um, somebody reached out to me on um, Facebook Messenger. I was going to be like, hey, man, why don't you just put a comment on my YouTube channel? But since this is a new channel, a lot of people, I'm reaching out to like friends and uh, you know fellow producers and stuff to kind of give me some guidance on what I want to do with this channel. But somebody reached out to me and asked me about iDrum. They did get to watch the video, but for whatever reason, they didn't comment it. They just wrote me on a messenger saying, hey, man, I never heard of iDrum. Can you... um?" explain a little bit more like can you uh get a little bit more in depth and i was like sure so this is basically gonna be like a review of idrum so you know basically this is what it i mean when you first get it it doesn't look like that i'm not exactly sure um so basically when you get it it comes like this in this color um i'm not sure if you can download more skins but i went in here and um you know i i think i did this red one here i didn't even look at this one nice little cool white one i guess um i guess that gives it a nice uh cool look i don't know i like red my favorite color is red well i like black with like a red trim a lot of people do actually a lot of uh, like technical people do but anyway um this is made by isotope i'll go ahead and uh just for some of you that don't know the, the the spelling of course it says that here here we go isotope is that's how you spell it is i-z-o-t-o-p-e if you don't know that company you should get to know that company they make a lot of really good software for mixing and mastering services and all kinds of other things um and idrum just happens to be one of them and so you know when you load it up you know it looks fairly basic um there's a few things i don't like about this um plugin and there's other ones that do other cool things and stuff but this one just kind of gets the job done for what i want um you know basically i wish the interface was a little bigger and instead of having to do a song mode which i'll explain now i'll go ahead and load some samples on here um so yeah you hit this little plus sign here i'll zoom in a little bit you know you hit the little plus sign here and then or minus sign to get rid of one and so then when you hit plus it opens up the finder window and then you just look for whatever samples you want and you just keep adding them and then you can scroll down if you have a ton of them so in this case the snare loaded on top i like having the kick on the top for order of reasons i don't know maybe it's my ocd or something but you know we'll go ahead and uh what is this a 90 bpm so we'll go ahead and and uh load a basic drum beat here um, you know, you can do, this is my kick, then a snare, and then my, you know, just like on, F, on FL Studio, it's very similar to it. Um, if you want, you know, you can lower the volume, you know, here, if you wanted to. But sometimes, you, if you want to do, like, I'll, I'll play the beat. You know, like, let's say I wanted to end it with a, a, another snare at the end, but I want it to be a little softer, you can lower the volume there. Then it kind of sounds like a, you know, kind of like you did it with a delay, but not really. And so that's a good way to mess with the volume. Another word for volume is velocity. Um, so, you know, like, you know, for, let's go ahead and do a, a little bit, for, you know, more of a basic beat. Um, my percussion, hi-hat. So looking for a regular. Let's go ahead and loop this here. So just have a, you know, a, mo a basic beat. So that's pretty much all that you can do as far as that. I wish you could extend it a little further. The only other way to do that, you have to go a little bit deeper into it. So you click here, this little button here. Again, let me zoom in. It says song mode. So it'll put it in song mode. So when you put it in song mode, it's not just looping this first pattern. Because you can hear here. Um, I'm going to try and zoom in on this stuff so that way you guys can see, see how this is pattern, even though it's, you know, I know it loses quality when I zoom in, but you can hit up and go to the next pattern. But what happens is on the next pattern, there's nothing there. I don't know if there's a way to, you know, be able to copy it. Cause I do, I have tried copying. Like if I hit copy here and then I go up and I hit paste, it, it'll go back to pattern one or zero. It doesn't actually paste it in pattern one. That'll just copy the settings of, for the window and then, and then paste them again. So, you know, I, maybe you can save the pattern and then import it again and stuff like that. I'm not, I'm not sure if there's another way to do it, but so far the only way to do it is by going into song mode. And what song mode does is it gives you like a certain set. Right now it's just gonna loop pattern zero it's going to loop it, you know, four times in a row. And so, you know, I don't mind the song mode, honestly. What I don't like is like, this is my beat. And so if I go to, if I take it off song mode and I go to pattern one, I have to program that whole beat again. 
so then that way I can make my change. Like in this case, I'm gonna do this B here, and then on pattern zero, on this one, I'll go ahead and turn it off, so that way I have a little bit of a difference. You know, this is pattern one, or zero. And then this is pattern one, which will be pattern two, technically. See, I just did a little small difference. So when I go back into song mode, then I click this little E button here. Why it's E, I'm not exactly sure why, but that's your pattern. So right now this is zero. So if you go to the next one and put pattern one, it'll go from pattern one or zero to one and then zero again, and then you come back here and do one. So I'll generally do three patterns, sometimes four or five, but depending on how intricate I wanna make the drums, um, this is where you kinda build them. You can remove some if you wanted to. In my case, if I'm just gonna loop two of them, I might as well just remove them. Um, but if I wanted to make a third, you have to turn off song mode for whatever reason, and then I'll go to pattern two, and then I'll make another similar beat here to this. Um, just to make it different. I'll put another one here. Okay, so that'll be pattern three. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and add two more. So it's gonna go from pattern zero to pattern one, then pattern zero again, and then I'm gonna end the pattern with pattern two. Um, so you'll, uh, if you're following this, good. If you're not, you'll, you'll, you'll hear it better when I put it back on song mode. It's basically, I'll leave it open so you can see it. It's basically gonna play pattern zero, then I'm gonna play pattern two, then pattern zero, and pattern the last one, which is pattern two. So it kind of has like a like a you know like a, a f somewhat of a full drum effect that you want to do to it. Now you can build more hats and build more drums and you know level them out and stuff, so that way you have a good drum sound. Um, you know, and so it's basically that's that's how this um, generally works. Um, as far as, you know, then once you have that completed, like, let's say that's your drum, like you're, okay, I got my drums exactly how I want it. Um, you can go ahead and click this little button here. I'll zoom in again, this little button here, you're going to click and hold, and that's going to let you drag the MIDI onto your, your pattern here. And so, you know, that's one cool thing. The only thing I don't like is that once you do that, it's playing, not only this is triggering this, but it's also playing both of is playing both of them at the same time why it does that i'm not a, i'm not sure i'm hoping that maybe isotope will be able to see this i wrote them on um on twitter and i and i mentioned to them hey a new version of this would be cool um not an update but just a new version um like i i, I drum two and so i reached out to them and i let them know hey you know it'd be cool if you guys could work on this and they liked it <laughs> but they didn't you know hit me up or anything like that if you guys want to hit me up i'll definitely point you guys in the right direction i got a bunch of ideas that would make this plugin real cool so basically what you have to do at this point is just turn off sync um and then so that'll sometimes it changes the bpm for some reason i think if it's if whatever the default if you changed it you know because my default is 90 and so um you know, whenever I come in to make a brand new beat, my default template is 90 and then I'll lower it to like 70 or 130 or something. And then whenever I hit the sync button, it'll change it. So make sure you look out for that here because it has a BPM also here and that's a separate player. So if, if I had changed it, this this will be different and I got to change this to what that says. That's another little glitch that they, I guess, never fixed. Um, but once you turn that off, this is now this just functions by itself and it'll trigger these notes. <coughs> Um, so anyway, now it's just playing the drums. Now it's triggering the drums that I have here. So this is just like you would any other drum machine. You know, they have, you have the MIDI notes that are being triggered here. What's cool is that, you know, if, if later on I'm like, man, I want to change the snare, I can just change this snare. Um, if I want to lower the volume, I can still use these to mix them separately. Although I still recommend, um, you know, let, putting the kick in a separate one, a snare in another one, and the hats on a separate one as well. Um, sometimes I get lazy and I'll just leave everything in one, you know, for the most part, I might go in if I'm selling the beat or something, or I'm really have the the time for someone else's project for my own. I tend to be a little lazy, but for others, I tend to really like pay attention to detail because those things matter at the end. Um, and then you just, you know, put them all on one, um, on one bus and then compress that bus. You know, that's pretty much, um, the gist of, of this program. Um, there's not much else I do with it. Uh, you can't load loops in here and then stretch them. You can't, there's a lot of limitations, you know, I wish that, 
you know, these selections here, I wish they, they let you extend this a little longer because instead of having to do song mode, um, I'd rather have a little bit longer, like 16. I would rather it be able to make it this long of, of a loop um, in, in one whole window, you know, rather than just programming like this little short one here. So it would be, or at least if I could do double this, that would be pretty cool. I've tried messing with these settings here and it doesn't do what I want it to do. Um, you know, just, it seems like you, that's what you would want to do, but it doesn't. So, you know, but you know, at the end of the day, I don't remember how much I paid for this plugin, but it, it wasn't that expensive and I bought it a long time ago and it's, 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 it's really not a bad plugin. I basically, I've been, you know, trying to figure, find another one. I know that Sean Devine uploaded a video on one that he uses and I'm considering getting, you know, maybe possibly upgrading this eventually. Cause I want to be able to do more. I like to put, if I could load my loops in here and be able to load a loop or start Stretch the loop um, that would be cool um, I don't use loops too often but sometimes um, there might be a cool um, hi-hat pattern or just some cool like bongos or something that you hear that you're like man I want to sample that and then drop it in a beat so instead of you know having to put it in here and do it in here um, you know sometimes you have a folder full of them and, and you're just, you know it's just easier for me to you know go to iDrum and be able to hit plus and then go through like see how it's off timing there's nothing I can do to edit that so it'd be pretty cool if um, I could do something in order to, um, you know, like edit the loop or maybe do some cool effects to it. That would be dope. This is basically how iDrum works. And so um, just wanted to make a video on that. So if you have any questions, feel free to put something in the comments. All right. Peace.